Hi, Roman here. Welcome to another video on the meter. So in today's video, I wanted to introduce to you a concept of shared subscriptions. This is a new feature we're actually introducing in the meter. And the way it works is by, it allows you to subscribe with a client to, to a topic, right? And several clients who subscribe to the shared topic only one of them will actually get the message, right? So let's actually examine this uh, schema here. So let's say we have a publisher publishing on uh, my topic, right? <clears throat> this message goes to the broker and for normal subscriptions, the message is forwarded to all the subscribers, like usual, right? Now, you could also have a shared subscriptions. In fact, you create a shared groups so for example, here we have a shared my topic with the share, so dollar share group, and then my topic, right? And the, the reason we use this dollar share group is this, this is now standard in MQTT5, so we're actually uh, trying to more be more compliant of the standard right now. Right, um, now emitter is not a MQTT broker, it just, well, it, it uses MQTT protocol, uh, we were trying to kind of align it a bit more of MQTT brokers, but really uh, don't consider a meter uh, just an MQTT broker. It's much more than that. And it doesn't also do everything that traditional MQTT brokers do. So the way it's working here is that let's say you have a few clients uh, and they are subscribed to the share topic, right? So a message comes in, only one of them gets a message randomly, right? One random. And you can have several of those groups. So for the same message, you can have another group and another, some other clients, and only one of them will get the message, right? So it really is powerful feature because it allows you to build kind of processing systems where you have messages flowing in and then uh, the message is load balanced across a set of um, subscribers in the share. So for example, you might have 1 million sensors somewhere and you do want to process all this data, maybe archive this data, but processing and archiving takes, ta takes time. You probably cannot do it on a single machine. So you would actually subscribe to a share of, uh, so create a share subscription, so you have 10 machines processing this much data and then doing something about it. Right, so let's actually build this. So in order to save you time, I already have the skeleton. And the way we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna take an example. Where we have a temperature sensor and we're gonna run the sensor and async and just gonna run. And we have three air cones, right? Let's say it's a building and we're trying to c control three air conditioning units. So those air conditioning units will um, only one of them will receive a message, right? So we want to load balance. So we don't uh, want one air conditioning, all, all of them going at the same time, just one one at the same time. So again, probably not the greatest product, but it will illustrate the example. Right? So first thing we need to do, so I have the connection done here. I have a local broker running. So I have a small connect function to help us. I have uh, the functions uh, which set up the whole things. Let's start with the sensor. Let's create a client, so we do connect, and um, then we have a small for loop. Um, let's do 100 times, right? Now, now let's actually do it a bit differently. So we go 30 times, and every time we're gonna sleep for one second, Right, so every one second we publish. And instead of doing this, we just subscribe and we start a sensor. It's the same thing, right? It's just a bit neater. So what we need to do, you need to publish, right? Now, to do this, we need a key. My page here, so this will share demo. So we need the right permission and this right so we're publishing to share demo 
and the payload let's do the payload let's create a random temperature um, right. So we need to see our random right and then we need to publish the message. Let's say and n between zero and forty. Right? So now we have publisher. Let's also check for errors. Okay. Now we do subscribe and we start publishing. Let's do some printing. Printlen sensor started. And then same here. Sorry. Same here. And then we say name started right so there'll be aircon so this is pretty much it uh, we have sensors and then we have air conditioning units like let's now look at how we're gonna subscribe so air conditioning units will subscribe we need a key for this so we are going to subscribe to a share so we cannot just do this so this will not work right because this will actually do a normal subscription. So what we'll need to do is we need to have a share and let's say room one, our share group, and then that channel. So we'll create a key for this particular one, right? Share, room one, and then the actual channel. Then we can subscribe. And then we have a new subscriber group, provide a key provide a channel and then room one is our share group uh, we also want a message handler so we can receive the messages right and then let's print it so name received um, message Payload. All right, so we received a message. Now we publish it. We need to publish a message. Let's, let's say it's degrees. Okay. Now, what we're doing here is we're subscribing with the group on a room, and only one of the air conditions should receive a message. Right? Okay, let's also have an error here, error check, and print my error. Okay, let's now try it. Okay, go run. Now we have three air cons and sensor started, and then as you can see, sensor is publishing a random temperature and then a random air condition unit is picking it up and receiving the temperature right so, so this is pretty much it this is how you can leverage uh, shared subscriptions with the meter and uh, as usual i post this on github so you can look at the code you can check out the code yourself and it's really helpful to build a scalable systems where you have messages in the system and uh, processing units, right? You, there's no registration, so pretty much as you subscribe, as the um, subscriber is visible, it's now eligible for uh, a message. So thank you very much. Uh, please do uh, subscribe. Please uh, like the video if you liked it. Uh, please write down in the comments if you want me to explain something else or something better and thanks thanks for watching